If you're considering starting a farming business or looking to expand your existing farm operation, you're in the right place. We've researched and compiled a list of the 20 most profitable and sustainable farming business ideas that are in demand and have the potential to generate good return on investment. Number one, hydroponic farming. Growing crops in a soilless environment using nutrient rich water and artificial lighting, hydroponic farming allows for year round crop production and higher yields in smaller space. Hydroponic farming can be done in various settings, including greenhouses, warehouses, and even urban rooftops. Number two, olive farming. Growing and selling olives for olive oil production. Olive farming requires a significant investment in land, equipment, and skilled labor, but can be a rewarding business for farmers who are able to produce high quality olives for oil producers. Number three, edible flowers farming. Growing and selling various types of flowers for culinary use in salads, desserts, and other dishes. Edible flowers farming can be a good option for farmers who are able to produce high quality flowers for local or regional markets. Number four, organic vegetable farming. Growing and selling organic vegetables using sustainable farming practices. This includes a focus on crop rotation, soil health, and pest management techniques that do not rely on chemical pesticides or fertilizers. Number five, maple syrup farming. Tapping maple trees and selling the sap to be sold down into maple syrup. Maple syrup farming requires a significant investment in equipment and labor, but can be a good option for farmers in regions with cold winters. Number six, beekeeping. Raising and selling bees for honey and other bee products, such as beeswax. Beekeeping requires a significant investment in hives and equipment, but can be rewarding business for farmers who are able to produce high quality honey and bee products. Number seven, garlic farming. Growing and selling garlic for culinary and medical use. Garlic farming can be a good option for farmers who are able to produce high quality garlic for local or regional markets. Number eight, mushroom farming. Mushroom farming is the practice of growing edible mushrooms for consumption. This form of agriculture has become increasingly popular in recent years due to the nutritional value and health benefits of mushrooms, as well as their unique and delicious flavors. Number nine, goat farming. Raising and selling goats for meat, milk, and cheese production, goat farming can be a good option for farmers who are able to secure contracts with buyers or processors. Number 10, vineyard. Growing and selling grapes for wine production. Vineyard farming is a highly specialized form of agriculture that requires extensive knowledge of wine production and viticulture. Farmers must carefully monitor the weather conditions, soil health, and nutrient levels to ensure optimal grape growth and wine quality. Number 11, ginseng farming. Growing and selling ginseng, a popular herb used in traditional medicine, ginseng farming is highly lucrative business for farmers who are able to produce high quality ginseng for local or international markets. Number 12, tea farming. Tea farming is the cultivation of tea plants to produce tea leaves, which are used to make tea. Tea is a popular beverage enjoyed by people all over the world, and tea farming has become an important industry in many countries, including India, China, Kenya, Sri Lanka, and Japan. Number 13, cacao farming. Cacao trees require specific growing conditions, including warm and humid climate, well-drained soil, and partial shade. Cacao farming is often labor intensive with much of the work done by hand, including harvesting and cacao pods and extracting the cacao beans. Cacao farming is not only a profitable business, but an environmentally sustainable one. Cotton farming is the cultivation of cotton plants for the production of cotton fibers, which are used to make clothing, textiles, and other products. Cotton plants require specific growing conditions, including a warm climate, well-drained soil, 
and plenty of sunshine. Cotton farming is often mechanized with much of the work being done using tractors and other farm machinery. Number 15, herb farming. Growing and selling culinary or medicinal herbs for local markets or wholesalers. Herb farming can be a good option for farmers with limited space, as herbs can be grown in small gardens or pots. Number 16, dairy farming. Raising and selling dairy cows, goats, or other animals for their milk and dairy products. Dairy farming can be a complex operation requiring a significant investment in land, infrastructure, and equipment. Number 17, poultry farming. Raising and selling chickens, turkeys, ducks, or other birds for meat and eggs, poultry farming can be a good option for farmers with limited space, as birds can be raised in smaller pens or coops. Number 18, fish farming. Raising and selling fish for food in a controlled aquatic environment. Fish farming can be a good option for farmers with access to ponds, lakes, and other bodies of water. Number 19, pepper farming. Pepper farming is the cultivation of pepper plants for production of different types of peppers, including black pepper, white pepper, green pepper, and red pepper. Many pepper farmers are adopting organic farming practices which avoid the use of synthetic chemicals and promote soil health. Pepper plants can be grown on small plots of land, making it accessible to small-scale farmers. And number 20, fruit farming. Fruit farming is the cultivation of fruit-bearing trees and plants for production of various types of fruits, such as apples, bananas, oranges, and grapes. One of the advantages of fruit farming is its versatility. Fruit trees and plants can be grown on various scales, ranging from small backyard orchards to large commercial farms. Fruit trees require specific growing conditions, including suitable climate, adequate soil moisture, and good drainage. At last, we encourage you to research and explore the farming business ideas we've presented in this video further and see which ones resonate with you. Remember, that every business idea comes with its own set of challenges and opportunities. So take the time to plan and prepare accordingly.